The following is a special presentation of Digital Horizons, the leader in sports highlights entertainment. I'm going to announce myself. You can announce yourself afterwards. I am your only wrestling reverend church. Once again, always accompanied by the uh, Blackie. Blackie? Yeah, Blackie. Well, Piv, Piv uh, usually commentates with him, but he's in the ring right now. Looks like he has an announcement to make. He was getting booze. Ladies and gentlemen, as I would say, welcome everyone to Season's Meetings 3. Yeah. Woo! Now, that means I like that camp. I don't know if that was a miscue or not, but let's talk. That would be a really bad idea. Shane Taylor, despite what you knew, and told or heard, he is still technically fired. What? And Ryan Mitchell wants his hands on him so bad. He is Um, I really think Piv should be getting out of the ring right now. No, he shouldn't. He should stay in the ring. And there's that mysterious the ring. There's that mysterious woman that came out last uh, last month with him. I think she's his business executive or something. From my understanding, it's business executive and how should we say legal counsel. Well, he's coming up here now, and I tell you what. Look at the size of that man. If I was Brian Mitchell right now, I would be regretting life, especially tonight. I mean, this man gets to pick anybody on the RWA roster to be his partner, but who's going to want to be his partner? Oh, boy. I, I, Piv, get out of there. Hit him. If you remember, last, uh, last month, Ryan Mitchell's father was injured Hit at him. this maniac's hands. Stop it, honestly. Come on now. I mean, it's Christmas for God's sakes. You can boo all you want, but every single one of you know I'm the baddest man walking God green earth. You gonna argue that point with him? No, are you? No. Nope. Okay then, I think we agree on something. For the past six months, Chris Taylor's been finding out your hero Ryan Mitchell. Wasn't, but Oh my god. Wait a minute. But that's that's what he said. That's what he said. Oh, 
Oh, no. Secondly, <laughs> thanks to uh, Paragraph 6 right here. Right here. If a fan enters the ring, I have the legal right to defend myself. That's right. I forgot about that, church. So, Mitchell's dad did walk in on his own board. legal rights to do whatever I have to do. <laughs> so I tell you what, Westman, they ain't firing me. As a matter of fact, they can't do a damn thing to me. Believe it or not, I can't believe I'm saying this. Everybody in here. He's right. Every single person is going to have to kick you to the back that can't tell what is this. go there yet, but... Wow, this crowd tonight is unbelievable here at Season Beating 3. Again, Brown no, was dad with his... Well, he's making friends you again tonight. And your management team can't do a damn thing to stop me. <laughs> so I tell you what, you want me to run with Mitchell? You need to run with Viv, don't back down. Please don't. Oh. So you're asking for a stipulation in this match? Viv should back down. Some, like if you were to win and get some sort of reward? Yeah. You would never be defying Mitchell in any official match in RWA or any professional match, period. He has a point there. Piv has a point. They have not but, fought one-on-one -on -one yet. If, if Piv values his life, he might want to lower the tone in which he's talking to Shane Taylor. Yeah, I agree there. Time. I think it's Ryan Mitchell's time tonight. If he defeats you guys, you and your partner, if he and Chris Taylor defeat you, he will have you in a match one-on-one -on -one at the third anniversary show, January 21st. Oh, wow. Now that's a stipulation. Wait a minute. If you win, you still fight. <laughs> you need to tell me what, in case you're dressed as retarded as he is, you can't fire me, bro. I didn't do anything wrong. He got in the bottom end. I probably beat his ass and collected my trap. So I tell you what, let me make the job real easy. I'm going to tell you what I want, when I win. When I win, when I beat Chris Taylor's ass in here, I get the next RWA title shot. Whoa! He's going for the title already? He has dominated everybody since he has been in this company. I don't see why not. He has a point though, but there's still people up there. There's still people, I think, higher than Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor still has a lot, a little bit of a way to go. Wait a minute. Piv just agreed to it. The match is on. If you and your partner do win tonight, you will become the number one contender to the heavyweight title. But when Chris Taylor beats you guys, oh dear God. You have the skills to find you next month. One on one. Finally. Official. 
Why is Piv trying to upset Shane Taylor? I don't like Piv to begin with, but still, it's more don't upset the, the man. I mean, it's more of a business thing when you think about it. I mean, think about it. He's right. Shane Taylor and Ryan Mitchell have never gone one on one yet. Yes, Shane has come in here, and I'm not gonna lie. Shane has been the dominant one when him and Mitchell have gotten into it these last few months. Taylor has gone through everybody, just about. I mean, Chris Taylor, for God's sake. Mitchell, Mitchell's own father, for God's sake. But if you notice, in the last, our last uh, event here, Taylor, oh man. Chris Arcadia taking his way to the ring. The new Genesis. Chris Arcadian come out, coming out here, and you know he's well loved here in West Newton, Pennsylvania. I mean, these people love these guys. He hoard himself out. How do you figure? Because he wants the, he wants their respect, he wants their attention, he wants their love. That's not what gets you in this business. What gets you ahead in this business is hard work and dedication. In that squared circle. I think Arcadian has put more than an effort in this ring. He's not like Shane Taylor, who comes in and beats everybody up and expects stuff handed to him. By the way, uh, hi, Kamesh. Uh, I'm a little shaken, I'll admit. I, he pretty much got it in that stipulation. Luckily for you, you're shaking and not stirred. Mikey V making his way to the ring, a newcomer here in RWA. He still has to prove himself, I mean. Is it this? I'm sorry, go ahead. He, ha he still has to prove himself in the RWA by all rights. He was kind of the least notable competitor in a four-way match last month. You have Chris Arcadia there, a well-known RWA veteran, and Juice Jennings to Joey Vengeance. They went on to have a tag title shot that night. So he still has to pick up a, a big win here in the company. Well, you heard it there, there first. Uh, you heard it here, from her, uh, here first. Is the fact that our commissioner already saying people got to step up here. And uh, I can't believe it. Who hired this fist jerker? I mean, pumper. I, I don't I mean, know. <laughs> whatever. I, I really don't know. But if. If my ears are not tricking me, both these guys have their hands full tonight. The triple third night action. One of the most popular RWA superstars, G Ray, we're making his way to the ring now. And I'll tell you what, he, Mikey D and Chris Arcadia got their hands full. Now, Arcadia's been in the ring before with G Raver, so, I mean, Arcadia sort of has an advantage in this triple threat match. But then again, Mikey, poor Mikey D, he doesn't oh, know what he's getting himself in. The ovation from the RWA family for another stalwart in the company, G Raver, nominee for most popular of the year. What about her VP? What? What's his Mikey name? D. Mikey D. <laughs> what did I call him? Herpes P or something. Okay. I don't remember. But anyways, back to the matchup here. Like I said before, Arcadian has mutual. As you saw, a show of mutual respect there. Oh, but isn't that special? Let's see if handshakes and smiles will win Christopher Arcadian in this match. Exactly. But I'm telling you what, Mikey D is actually playing it smart right now, and he just he just disappeared. He's like, Where is it hurts to pee? Oh, there, there he is. is. But back to the matchup. These Arcadian and G Raver are now locking it up here. Seasons being three is finally underway here. Now G Raver with an arm lock. Get started here. Arcadian trying to measure his opponent here. And Mikey D is still outside here on the ring. Playing it smart here. But then again, when you're Mikey D, you really don't know much about these two in the ring. I mean, this is the first. From what it looks like, he's stretching. Like it doesn't look like he, you know, worked himself up enough in the back or whatever. And, and now he's working out outside the ring. 
This isn't going to last too long, I have a feeling. No, G Raver's known to jump out and uh, reach somebody, if you know what I mean, when they're outside the ring. Oh, impressive maneuver by G Raver and reversing the armbar here on Christopher Arcadian. Chris Arcadian now, looking like he's in a little bit of pain there. This is going to take a lot more. Wait a minute, Mikey D finally in. Are gonna... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, are you serious? So Venereal D got out of the ring. Arcadian and G Raver kind of know what this guy's up to here. Mikey D trying to get an advantage here. Didn't work out too well for him. Oh, wait, wait a minute there and wait. Uh oh. Oh, oh. G Raver and Arcadian put on a show as usual. Mikey D, you got to get oh, whatever. in there. Catching him with a hip toss. And these hey, two. Hey, Piv, why don't you go get Venereal D in the ring? Mikey D, can you get Whatever. it right? I don't care what his name is. Yeah, if it doesn't have a five by it, you don't care. All right, locking up again. And wait a minute, Mikey D back in here. And here comes Mikey D. Oh, oh and a double. All right, now Arcadian and G Raver sending him into the ropes now. Mikey D off here. Double drop hit. Fantastic. After that, he's going to be saying it's going to hurt to pee. And he's outside the ring, and he hit, I mean, he hit hard, and uh, I don't oh really God. think he's proven himself here, Piv. <laughs> Too much right now. A little opportunistic, I mean, but I don't think he's, you know, shows too much animosity. I mean, Wait a minute. Did he really just say he's the Justin Bieber of wrestling? Are wow. you kidding? Is now he... he's taking a small break in the fans. Well, I... He's a little hurt. I mean, he did get tossed on his keister out there. All right. So Raver and Arcadia getting on the ring. that touches everybody. He doesn't want to touch him. Headlock taken Ma down by Raver. I think Mikey D wants to take a look at uh, two very quality wrestlers in RWA. Look at the intensity of this headlock. He needs to show a little more intensity. He's partying too much. Boy, another thing, too, he's kind of like, oh, for a minute there, he was doing the, uh, how can I put it? The fan job here. Wait a minute, he's going to the top rope here. Oh, 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 oh. And that was impressive. A drop kick, and he actually hit both of them there. That was actually very impressive on the side of Mikey D. All right, little wiggle here. Did he just fist bump? Yes. He, he just fist jerked. He did something there. The Guido's elbow. That's what I'm calling it. Guido's elbow. Guido's elbow. Okay, then. A new move has been established for Mikey D. Is the Guido's elbow. Thank you, Pip. Ooh, and what a right by Mikey D. What about his fist jerking? And he can he jerk. dehydrator first. As long as he's behind closed doors, I don't care what he jerks. Okay, Mikey D sending G Raver into. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I suggest everybody. Up and over, wait a minute, oh, no. no. Mikey D ruining G Ravers party, you could say. Mikey D actually has done his homework here. Showing a little bit of smart yeah. this man. Oh! Arcadian and what up, big women. Oh my goodness. Throwing, throwing himself right at his opponent is Christopher Arcadian. Now G Raver. G Raver lined up for something. If I was uh, some Ray fans Ray here, I would get on. I think he might jump. I think he might too, and oh my, he's to the top here. For it. Oh dear. Top. Up and up and over. Oh, oh my oh. God! Amazing! And G Raver standing. I can't believe it. He just flipped and landed on both of those guys. Arcadia and Mikey V are down, and I can't believe it. That son of a bitch and hedgehog is crazy. You think? You know, everybody has a homicidal, ju a genocidal uh, superstar in their league. We have G Raver. That's all I got to say about that. Off the ropes he goes, and oh, back heel kick. G Raver, lining up Mikey D now, close line and a beauty. I did my first hand of beauty tonight. Okay, back. Back to goes. Oh, kneeling to the stomach, and Mikey D is tasting those cannolis. Arcadian still on the floor, feeling the effects of that huge splash that G Raver had before. Here comes another one. And oh, another. It's just maneuvered by G Raver and Dear Mikey D's down. One, two, and no. Almost a three count error. If Arcadian wants to win this match, I suggest he gets in quick, but he really hurt himself out there. I mean, G Raver, known to 
put some punishment on his opponents. I don't think Arcadian hurt himself. I think it was more G. Raver landing on him ankle submission. than hurt him. Mikey D with an ankle submission. Oh man, shades of an Olympic hero here. Stretching that ankle out. Don't mention him, he'll sue. After he's done drunk driving. Or at least write bad about us on Twitter. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, uh, Mikey D applying that. Leg, putting added pressure on. Here comes Arcadian! Leg draw! Oh, draw. oh my <laughs> goodness. Wait a minute here. He falls at one. Two and, and two. no. That was an ass to the face. Yes, it was. And I'll tell you what, Arcadian had to do what he had to do. I mean, now Raver, I mean, his ankles hurt. Arcadian better take advantage of this. Up and over. Oh, reverse neck breaker. Swinging reverse neck breaker. Injuring the ankle of G Raver might have been the best thing for Arcadian and uh, Venero D. Mikey D. Uh, Mikey, okay, whatever. Mikey D almost had it. Almost. Right letter. Oh, kick to the midsection. It might be the best thing because oh, and G what a Raver right. can't fly. That takes at least half of his arsenal away. Up and over. Oh, rounders, Arcadian yeah. into the corner. And, oh, back elbow by Arcadian. Stopping Mikey D's momentum there. Oh, oh missile close on. Mikey D from the. Beautiful! Oh! Go ahead, Mikey D! Mikey D may be hiding himself. Kind of uh, like lowering was... his power level a little bit while partying it up. Look at him now. Oh! Impressive! It looked like it was going to be a power slam, but he reversed it there. And I mean, come Mikey D making a name for himself here in RWA. Good job, it hurts the people. Oh, hey. Only a one. Chief Paver, known to take a lot of punishment, though. He may not have got, got a good cover there, either. Switching his attention to Arcadian now. Send him into the rope. Missile with a clothesline. Here comes Arcadian. Catches oh. him with a reverse neck break. And a, what a beauty. Both of the, everybody's beaten and battered already. What a way to start off season. Beating three. And I'll tell you what. Arcadian with a catch. Wait a minute. Mikey D's at the top, though. on the top. Oh, and almost it's just a two count there. Mikey D at the top here in Arcadian. Oh! oh! How's your Olsen twins, Mr. Mikey D? I think in the Jersey Shore it's Yambag Yahtzee, but whatever. Okay, whatever works, right? I'm going to get sued. Just a little bit. Wait a minute. And, oh, drop kick. Oh, oh and Arcadian. Arcadian and, and, oh. and he hit that. Did you see him hit the corner apron there? <laughs> Wait a minute now. What's Raver setting up for? I don't know, but you know he's most dangerous. At Might the top be a row. C4. Uh oh, has him oh, up and over. Oh, got it! Oh, and he landed God. it. One, two, and three. three. It's over. What a maneuver by Gene Raver to finish off Mikey D. G Raver victorious, but you know what? Give it up to both Arcadian and Mikey D. That was one hell of a matchup. Very, very much so. I and mean, Arcadian is very consistent. Mikey D is showing more of himself each and every month. But G Raver, with his very own salt and his tenacity, getting the team tonight. And I'll tell you what, though, Tim. One thing's for certain. When you look at these three in the ring right now, this is the future of RWA. Most definitely. Don't get me wrong, G Raver has established himself. But with Mikey D and Christopher Arcadian, which Arcadian had, Arcadian had one hell of a matchup. I mean, it has to go off the Christopher Arcadian for, I mean. Oh man, look at all these signs. Oh my goodness. Hey, Brock. Yes. Um, I need you to do me a favor. What? I need you to hold on to this, okay? <laughs> Just hold it. I don't want to hold it. Just hold it. I don't, I don't want to hold this yet. Just hold it. That's up to you, Doc. I don't want to hold that. What is it? I don't know what it is. He's hitting me something, but I told him to hold on with it. I'll get it in a minute. I think it's a nice Obama sign. No. Church. Church wouldn't do that. You're such a rascally rabbit. Why aren't you holding it? I don't know. All right. Hold it. Why are you just hold it? Just hold it. I don't want this. I don't want this. Just hold it. I don't want this. 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 I don't want
I know it. No, no, what are you trying to be? Michael Cole with that gold chain? You want to go to Piper Cole Are you serious? Why are you holding an ice on the other side? I did not. Yes, you did. Oh. Thanks. He's mad at you. Anybody? He's mad at you. He's mad at you now. They're yours. He's mad at you now. Another holiday welcome for James. How's your nose? I've been busy all day, so I haven't really looked at my Facebook. Yeah, I got you as a friend. I gotta you know, keep tabs on you. You issued an open challenge? I sure did. Well, that's funny. I already had your opponent picked out. Someone you've never faced before in RWA. Someone who's never been in RWA before. And I looked around and I found the best talent I can in the area. The best talent in the area is standing in this room. Aren't we? To those of you who boo me, you all paid to see me. Who is it? I'm putting my contract up to anybody that thinks they're mad enough to take it from me. All right, then, Mr. Montgomery, do the honors. Competitor, very well trained. He's currently training at the dojo under former ECW World Champion Taz. Uh, he's proven himself in other companies around the area, and this is his RWA debut. He is ready to impress the RWA family tonight. But already with Jay Ice, you're breaking him in pretty good. <laughs> Jay Ice doesn't look impressed. One and two. Jay Ice is really, really mad at you, Doc, for spreading around those Ice Obama signs. First of all, I didn't spread any. I didn't spread anything around. Second of all. You were even holding one. You put it in my hands. I did not. Look at him. Lift, he's lifting up that cruiserweight title uh, contract, and I know Piv would love to see him lose that right now. Most definitely. That would free him up to be fired. All right, these two about to get in on Saren and Jay Ice. Scott Saren here making his debut in RWN. Give him credit, folks. I mean... Well, that's just it. Do, do not discredit the human weapon. I've studied this man, and he is very well-rounded, pretty even to the style of Jay Ice. I think we're going to have a pretty level matchup. And what a way to end our year here in RWA with a matchup like this. I mean, we have ourselves one hell of a card here in Seasons Beatings 3. But these two are about to get it on now. Like you said, Saren, known around the uh, Fay County area, like one of the best. I mean, I've seen him wrestle at a UCW show, and what amazing, amazing talent. Anyways, what did you say? I was doing some I scouting one day, and I saw him at a show. That's all I'm going to say. He was on the CW. <coughs> on TV? Yeah. Huh? You said UCW. Oh. I said it's not the UCW. Was he on One Tree Hill? No. One Tree Hill? Gossip Girl. Let's just get back to the matchup. My head hurts now. And we have a count. One, two, and no. 
J.I. should have had a five count, but Tiny Tim was too tiny and couldn't get there in time. All right, back elbow by uh, Jay Ice. Wait a minute, Ice setting to the ropes now. Ooh, and what a clothesline by Scott Saren. Drop in by Saren. Boy, Ice does not know he's there on it. Wait a minute, did he just sit with the crowd? Yep. What is with these guys that sit with the crowd tonight? We have the best fans in the area. Who wouldn't want to sit? They're river dirt. Oh, stop it. I'm not saying that. I just don't want to see anybody endangered, especially after last month. Yeah, exactly, right? Contract's okay. on the line, Ice. Ice in the corner now, walking around. Doesn't know where he's at right now. Thanks, thanks the church getting me a dirty look. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait a minute, and again, Ice. Look at these. These fans are just relentless on it. On it. Poor Jay Ice. Wait a minute, is he over there? There's, a, there's some Saren fans, actually. I was wondering about those T-shirts. Now I know why. They must have known he was coming. Um, wait a minute. <laughs> wow, Ice just told, told that older gentleman to kiss his keister. Ice getting back in the ring now. Saren is ready for him, though. Saren looks hungry. Oh, wait a minute. Ice is... Uh oh, wait a minute now. These two oh, relapses. Oh, oh! And what a clothesline by Jay Ice. How you Saren. feeling? <laughs> All right. Picking Saren up by his hair now. Oh, oh man. My. This body oh. slam on the gymnasium floor. Ow. Oh, kick to the head. And Ice in the ring to break the count. Very smart veteran move by Jay Ice. Saren, right Helen from Yin, I think Yin's up his way. Oh, wait a minute, is he just swishing his head up against the ring post? He's doing what he has to do. Now, Ice is known for punishing his opponents, and I mean really punishing his opponents here. Saren tossed back in the ring, and Ice now to take advantage here, the Cleveland, Ohio native. No, you go. are wrong. It go. is Calgary, dramatic pause, Alberta, Ohio. It is a suburb of Cleveland. Oh, stop it. You mean Calgary, Alberta? Wow, well executed German suplex. I think that is, that might be the end of uh, Scott Saren here. Wait a minute, I, if you're not gonna win by pinning somebody like that, what a cocky, uh, arrogant pin. I mean, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to dispute Jay Ice's ability. I mean, for, for those of you who saw the news on our Facebook or rwalive.com, I had no comment after Jay Ice defeated G-Raver. I still don't about that match. I liked that match, and Jay Ice won fair and square. I mean, and, well, that's hard to say. Wait a minute. Shades of Eddie here. Oh, oh. He only went Dos Amigos. Maybe he was thinking Dos Equis. It worked out. Whatever. I don't think he's the most interesting man in the world, though. Scott Saren's interesting a lot of people here, though, in RWA right now. I mean, he's having an impressive match up here against Jay Ice. Jay Ice set to the opposite corner. Here comes Saren. Saren splash. And a beauty. Saren's asking for the crowd support here. Jay Ice. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Ice. Beautiful reversal. Ice up and over. And oh! Flying back. And a beauty. I think the crowd just likes Scott Saren. I don't know who he is, but... Most of them like him just because Final he's tap. in there against Jay Ice. Vicious. Oh, oh and kick to the head. Side of the head, right in the temple. That's the most dangerous place to kick somebody, too. That's of course, basically a knockout. Wait, 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 wait. What is Ice trying to do? Ice is lining him up for something here. He said, not that way. Wait a minute, Ice now going to where he's dangerous. Wait a minute, Ice to the second rope. To the top rope. He's going to the top rope here. The Calgary, Alberta, excuse me, Ohio native. Ooh. And Saren putting a stop to that. Come on, Scotty. That was a smart maneuver by Scott Saren. Stopping ice here. Wait a minute. Ice in trouble. Uh-oh. We're going to see a DDT maybe. Oh! Dropped right on the crown of the head. Dear God. I, I, of course, I think that's what Jay Ice is saying right now. Oh, check the... Yeah, oh. good. Uh, smart maneuver, smart veteran maneuver by Scott Saren there, getting both legs up here for that pin. But Ice able to kick out now. 
It's going to take a lot more than that to beat Jay Ice. I will say that. Jay Ice, you know, he, he's cocky. He's arrogant. He's not so like by the band, but I'll tell you what. He's one of the best here in RWA. You have to admit that, too. Yes. Tiny one Kim got shot. Oh! Caught him with back what elbow. What was that? It's over. And Jay Ice wins. I think. I missed it, but I think I said I had a legal, an illegal object. I think you're crazy. Ice regaining his contract again, unfortunately, there for you, Pip. Yes, but... Oh. I can't believe it. Wow. But Scott Saren, I'll tell you what, give him credit for his first time here in RWA. But he was put up against probably one of the, uh, to put him up against Jay Ice right away. I understand what you're trying to do there, Piv, but you know me. I never, never. He wants the mic. Mike. Wait a minute. He wants the mic. If you have thrown everything at him and he's knocked it down, you have to admit that. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh! Ice putting him away, I guess. Saren lining on for something, but Ice caught him and landed a bit. Ooh! Spill. Great spot. The next trending topic, Jack Paul is making his way to the ring now. Little upbeat today, more upbeat than last month, you could say. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. he's gonna throw it to somebody. Wow. Well, he's really upbeat today, isn't he? Oh, slick. Somebody had their Wheaties or whatever. Fruities. Uh-oh. Here he comes, the man, the myth, the legend, Scott Prodigy. He made his way to the ring, and I'll tell you what. Competitive one-on-one -on -one matchup. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, Pollock's, Pollock's wanting to go. Rock. Can't people be under leash? Because they need to be. There's fans Talking about uh, Jack dancing Pollock, I'm sure. Jack Pollock needs to be on a leash right now. The next trending topic, you could say. What? The next trending topic? Who wants to be trending, really? All right, these two about what the to hell? You don't want to trend? You don't want to trend worldwide on Twitter? No, not at all. Why not? I just let Jack Pollock do it. He seems like he wants it more than I do. <laughs> all right, back to the action. Hashtag Doc sucks. Gonna be trending soon. All right, back to the action here. And now they're lo locking up here, Prodigy and Pollock. You know what? This Pollock is, now using you? that rope to like do some leverage here. Wait a minute, he's not. He's sitting on the top rope already. You know what this is, don't you? No. This is a battle of the social networks. We have the next trending topic, All right. Jack Meoff, whatever the hell his name is. And then we have Scott Prodigy, who is a fan favorite phenomenon on Facebook. Oh, and what a fan favorite just delivered two rights. So, Maybe three. Oh, right bench, chop. Oh, God. And technically, and I'm going to call it anyway, we had our first plate of chop served here tonight. Yeah, right across the chest of Jack Pollock here. More of a side of chop, but still, we'll take it. 
Prodigy inviting him in the ring here. Wait a minute, Prodigy gonna come out. They're gonna take the fight oh, outside. No. Switcheroo up there. He wants to get the high ground. And Pollock using a smart maneuver there. Now just pounding the back of Prodigy. Repeated kicks left and right to the ribcage. Oh, left and right we go. Wait a minute here. Prodigy getting sent into the ribs now. Pollock lining him up. Back elbow. Oh, and Prodigy. Impressive. Pollock is giving up a little bit of weight to Prodigy. I think Prodigy... Uh, Prodigy Kevin, just got caught getting in the ring there, and wow. Kevin Pollock here um, <laughs> no, no, has Jack a Pollock. little bit of energy. Just a little Kevin bit. Pollock. Kevin Pollock. That's yeah, an Kevin actor. Pollock. That's an actor. Wrong guy. Oh, my goodness. I must not Wait, watch Tomorrow we learn colors. That's Jack Was Pollock. he in Superman? No, he wasn't in Superman. Kevin Pollock was in Superman. That's not Kevin Pollock. That's Jack. The next trend. Never mind. All right, whatever. Jeez, you haven't done a Pollock joke. I'm impressed. Really? Not got yet. it started. Thanks. Thanks, Piff. I'm actually yelling at you for I once. I'm yelling at the boss. Thank you so much. Up and over Speaking and of super of beauty. Off. I'm only part. One, two. Oh, no. The stupid part. Yeah, you could say that. My mom was a Polish blonde. God help me. Okay, back to the action. <laughs> and Jack Pollock You know now. what? We're not even going to go into everything that your mom was. No, or we're not. Is. Oh, my God. Okay, back to the action. Stretching out the jaw here. Leave my mom alone. She's a saint. Got a headlock so, on. And a vicious headlock. And look here. Pollock trying to work down Scott Prodigy. Prodigy. Some energy from the fans. Prodigy has... Powering it. Okay, get out of that submission. Out. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh a couple shots to the gut here. Another one. Oh, and Pollock driving the back of his head to the mat. I'm surprised Scott Prodigy didn't complain about the hair being pulled. What hair? Anyways. Exactly. Prodigy, though, I tell you what, he's actually stuck in there with the likes of actually D. Shane Taylor. Wait a minute. Lasted 10 straight minutes. Oh, a clothesline almost like that was right the tracking. Through. Sleeper hole by sleeper. Pollock. Is that trending now, the sleeper hole? Just wondering. Hashtag Piper. There you go. There you go, right? Works out. Hashtag, Sleep hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> I blew your mind. I don't know anything about Twitter, but all I'm going to say is this. Scott Prodigy is about to go to sleep, and not many of his fans on Facebook are going to like this. Dislike. Anyways, Twitter's, Twitter's winning the social networking war. I'm seeing this right oh. now. MySpace all the way. Huh? Really? You probably have a Friendster account, don't you? My blank. Because it used to be my space. Yeah. Okay. That was a bad one. All right, well, back to the matchup here. I wonder if they can edit that out in post. I, I, I couldn't tell you. All I'm going to say is this. Like, Pollock, though, losing his uh, speed here at the Super... Wait a minute. Are you Couple talking about Pollock? No, I'm talking about Jack Pollock. He's in the ring right now. And I'll tell you what, though. Prodigy probably felt a big effect. Wait a minute, reversal and clothesline by Prodigy. Oh! Semi forum, semi chop, I think. Up and over, and we're gonna see a sidewalk, baby. Sidewalk, oh. man of beauty. Lumberjack is down. One, two, and no. Pollock kicks out. A hard slap from referee Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac is all over this. Wasn't that Jim and JD? No, it wasn't. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're crazy. <laughs> it's a prodigy now. Oh, well, prodigy asking if he can beat his ass. Oh! And most of the male fans Reverse said yes. Breaker. That's just odd. Church. Down boy. Almost a three count. Prodigy can't believe Paula kicked out of that one. Wait a minute, got him by the hair and oh! Rake to the eyes. And Paula getting away with murder here. What's Pollock doing? A couple shots left and right. Oh, up and over now. Wait a minute. Pollock sending them. Wait a minute. Prodigy reversal into the opposite corner here. Pollock in trouble. Catches him. Oh, belly to belly. belly, to belly. Oh, a beauty. Nice. One, One two, two, and no. Two. Almost a three count. Kevin, get out. Wait a minute. Who, oh, what's this? What the? Who is this? <laughs> Ring the bell or something. Who is this? What is what is this man doing here? What? Uh, Pim, you might want to do something. We heard about fans are. Oh my God! 
What's he doing here? He's not supposed to be here. What is he? That's Terry Ring. Um, Terry Ring is in an RWA ring. What is going on here? Pollock is just saying heck with this. He's leaving. Kevin Pollock is going back to his film set. Wait, what is Terry Ring doing here? Terry Ring, what, what, why is he here? He's not supposed to be here. He is not under RWA contract. I don't know how many times he's going to lap the here? ring. He wants a mic, I think. He's, he's going to keep lapping the ring. Is he really? He can't be doing it. He can't be doing this. You can't be here. Um, he he just is. The uh, ring a couple they, need times. To, they need to get security in here or something. Huh? Wait a minute. What? You didn't expect that. I'm sure all of you expected that. You just got me to come back here and walk through that curtain. You expected my music to be playing, and you expected me to walk around this ring and show the appreciation for each and every one of you. But no, I'm not going to do that because you don't appreciate me. He sucks. You don't appreciate all the time and effort I put into this business. You like all the guys in the back. You go on the internet and you make calls and hey, hey, hey. Terry, who do you think you are coming into here? You want to go go on the roster? You should be right here and ready to free. Yeah, church, look at it. Oh, son of a bitch. I'll smack you right in the mouth. Terry, I'm talking to you. I don't know what his problem is with me. Actually cheering for him, Church. I want security in here now. You are a waste of flesh, you little punk. Take care of him. Let him get in the house. Get him out of here, little son. You don't know that God takes good security. Why are you getting there? You want to fight me for free? Keep my ass in my face. Go. Wait a minute. Whoa, Phil Bass. <laughs> Security like it's paper mache. They are not. What in the hell? Called you a dumb son of a bitch. I, I, I wow. Well, I guess this is what happens when security doesn't watch the doors. I guess new members of the Feel Bad Five, I guess. What do you know about Joey Vengeance? I mean, these are your, you know, Feel Bad Five, so these are your new, uh, Representatives of the uh, Feel Bad Five there, Church. Joey Vengeance and a man by the name of Juice Jennings making our way to the ring. These they t-shirts that say A-list on them. They came in with an eyelash of winning the RWA Tag Team Championships last month. I know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit rattled, Church, about what we saw earlier. I, I'm... Forget that, 
I know, but that's just wow. Show prick. Plain and simple. All right, well, Joey Venge is in his ring now, and he's about to take on. Let me read here. I think I have. Whoa! Uh -oh. That's right, the blue chipper oh, himself. Really? If you've been his friend on Facebook, he's asked for some signs. He wants to see go nuts. He wants his fans to go nuts. Making his way to the ring now, and can you see the signs go nuts everywhere? Jimmy Nuts up, high five in the kids here. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't like you too much. Stop I don't really care. Hey, he's well loved here in RWA. Jimmy Nuts is a man. Wait a minute, Joey Vince just pulled his sign out. Joey Vengeance has got a sign. Uh, he does got a sign. I mean, Joey Vengeance made an impact here last time here in RWA. His last one is his debut, you could say. Wait a minute. She, he just ripped up that young lady's sign. Why? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it on the back. Go nuts. Yeah, but it said on the back, Joey Vengeance. She liked them both. Wait a minute. Yeah, where is Joe Brooks tonight? The cruiserweight champion, Joseph Brooks, who said he's very ill. It was probably the guy that had the sign up that said, I heart nuts. That is pretty scary. Joey Vengeance. Joey Vengeance. Juice. I'm scouting you guys. Make me proud. Break him in half. Break him in half? Yes, exactly. I understand that he's sicky poo. Sicky poo? She got to have a cruiserweight title shot. But if Joey Vengeance is the son of a bitch tonight, he'll get the title shot instead. Wait a minute, causing this. So wait a minute. Here, here, here's, here, here's, here's the scenario, okay? Uh -huh. Piz is a genius in dismantling the Feel Bad Five. As you can see, Feel Bad's in a rebuilding process right now. But to turn Vengeance already against Feel Bad is brilliant. Just the, if Vengeance were to win tonight, he, get, he gets the cruiserweight opportunity, not Jimmy Nuts. Just because he gets an opportunity doesn't mean he has to take advantage of it, now does he? But the way just Joey Vengeance is emerging here in RWA, guess what? I think he would. Oh, Juice Jennings already sticking his nose where it doesn't Juice belong. didn't do anything. He just grabbed the foot of Jimmy Nuts. And the referee just caught him and he's kicking him out of here. Very good. Security is actually escorting Juice Jennings out here. Yeah, look at that. A little bit of show a man love there. It's called bromance. Yeah, a little too much. Did I hear bromance? Yeah, you did hear bromance because Juice Jennings is on his way out. He just got kicked out of match for grabbing the foot of Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy Nuts now just waiting for his opponent patiently. Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy Nuts is the quintessential diva here of RWA, you could say. <laughs> Call for a feel bad six or seven. <laughs> and he's back in the ring at nine. Oh, well. 
Bill Bad didn't really want that to happen. No, he didn't, because just think, if Joey Vengeance gets an opportunity, which brilliant, brilliant decision there, boss. Vengeance, Vengeance could take this cruiserweight opportunity away from Jimmy Nuts. Lock up now, Nuts and Vengeance going at it. Headlock by Jimmy Nuts. I hate it when Nuts comes at you with a vengeance. And and they start. Okay, <laughs> back to the match. Jimmy Nuts now squeezing, squeezing the head of Joey Vengeance like a grape. Such power with Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy Nuts, heart trainer, blue chipper here at RWA. And I'll tell you why, Jimmy Nuts deserves everything he gets. I mean, breaking away, of course, from his tag team, the Pocket Rockets, now and pretty much a singles competitor here, and he is making a name for himself even more in RWA. Let's not forget that the Pocket Rockets wouldn't have been anything if it wasn't for Jimmy Nuts' tag team partner. Yeah, but he who shall not be mentioned. Back to the matchup. Just saying. And now Vengeance, oh, returning the favor to Jimmy Nuts now, squeezing his head like a grape. Hmm, that was Double thinking. I mean, what if Juice Jennings is Shane Taylor's partner? I mean, he just got ejected. He's not really going to be too tired. It could be anybody, though, Piv. I mean, if Taylor was smart, which he is a very, very, he is very smart, could pick anybody in that back. Anybody. It, it could, could be you, Doc. Yeah, right. Okay, back to the matchup. Why would he pick me when he can have somebody handle Chris Taylor? He needs somebody that's going to handle Chris Taylor, not a wimp. Because Sorry. Can, is, oh, and what a vicious oh chop. Because as he's proven in the past, he can handle both of them. Up and over. Whoa, what agility by Jimmy. That's a dad. Oh, a beautiful arm drag. Nice simple hop, reversing the momentum. Joe, Joe Benton's got a few fans along with the field bad pop. And uh, the crowd is firmly in support. For Mr. Jimmy Nuts. Yes, if you've seen all the signs, go nuts. I mean, he put it on Facebook. He's trended it worldwide. Hey, go nuts. He wants signs that say go nuts. And guess what? He has them. That's what he wants his fans to do. Now, Vengeance broken up here in the corner. And, oh, he misses. Oh, he hit his hand off that turnbuckle. Oh, did you hear the shot to the gut there? Nuts. Taking Vengeance into the corner. Vengeance. Doesn't know where he's at right now. Another arm drag by Jimmy Nuts. That's the second time he's done that. Hip toss in the beauty. Up and up. Uh-uh, not going to get his has, has Well, Vengeance is a little dizzy out there right now. Wait a minute. Feel bad letting him know, hey, I'm scouting you. You better impress me here. All right, Jimmy Nuts outside the ring now. Going to go ahead and take matters into his own hands, you could say. Wait a minute. Now, Joey Vengeance playing it smart here, running around. And I got oh, Jimmy Nuts a little smarter than the average bear. Joey Vengeance missing with that elbow drop. Oh, oh, oh. Up and over and oh! Right the, the ribs. Throat. No, it was the ribs the actually. Rib right across the top rope there. And oh! Backbreaker. And a beauty. <laughs> Did you see the way Nuts just bent right over the knee of Joey Vengeance? I mean, Jimmy Nuts just come crashing down there. I mean, his spine has to be in a lot of pain right now. And I get yelled at. Yeah, uh, Dr. Feelbad. I didn't even realize what I just said. Wow. Okay, but back to that matchup now. Hey, Dr. Feelbad showing some apathy towards this match a little bit. But as a former evil manager myself, I mean, why not you have... You are evil. Yeah, sometimes I can be. I mean, why not have two of your own stablemates fight for a title? The title will stay where it belongs. I mean, right? Yeah, point taken here. But I think, you know, Joey Vengeance has just emerged here in RWA. Getting him a title shot already, I think it's a little too early. But then again, that's my idea. That's just me has, thinking out loud. I mean, he has to earn it. And, I mean, if he defeats the number one contender, he goes from number three to up to number one. I mean, it makes sense. Well, if you look now, Vengeance, I mean, digging that elbow into the spine of Jimmy Nuts, trying to get out of that maneuver. I mean, I... I yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, shades of MMA here. A couple back elbows in the face. These two are sprawling all over the mat. Oh, Jimmy mounting Joey. We got a lot of fans here. A lot of excited fans. Oh, oh. boots to the back. And, oh. Right underneath the shoulder blade, around the kidney area. And that's where it hurts the worst. Oh, shot to the ribs now. Wait a minute now. Vengeance. Okay, lining up Nuts. Sends him into the ropes now. Jimmy Nuts up, up and over. Can he get him in? Oh, hurting his fist in the process. I'll tell you what, Vengeance is going to have a broken hand after this. 
shot to the I mean, he heard it off the uh, ring apron earlier, or I mean, turnbuckle earlier, and then off the uh, ring. And up and over, wait a minute. Not sending the rings out. Here comes Vengeance. Oh, misses again. Rolls him up. One, two, and no. He had the tights. He did not have the tights. He did. Pulling on the frills. Stop it, Church. Every time. They, they, they weren't even facing us. How could you know if he got the tights or not? I saw it. How could you not? I don't know how you saw that, Church. You must have x-ray vision. I do. Unbelievable. Okay, back to the matchup. Oh! <clears throat> Shot to the back now. Jimmy Nuts looks in trouble, Piff. Ah, oh! Wrapping his own arm around his neck. And having him choke himself. Yes. That's going to stretch out a bunch of different things all at once. The shoulder. The all of which hurt. Before. Well, Nuts is in trouble now. I mean, using his own arm to stretch him. Oh, wait a minute, shot to the gut. Jimmy Nuts. Another one. Jimmy Nuts coming back here. Up and over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh. Tilt the world backbreaker and a beauty. Almost a neck breaker. Whoa! Oh, I was oh. very far up on the spine. Vengeance caught him. Two and three quarters it got him too. I mean, that I was mean, in between the shoulder blades, actually. That was I mean, a vicious like, maneuver. That hurts. Hey, Plain and simple. this Joey Vengeance oh, is no yeah. slouch, I will say that. I mean, he really wants to make a name for himself, and he wants in probably what is known as one of the elite groups here in RWA, the Feel Bad Five. Well, he's not in it yet. It's not he's one of, it is the elite group. Well, he wants to become a member of that, and he has to, if he, if he can defeat Jimmy Nuts tonight, I think he is a solid in. Oh my god, the, wait a minute, what? Vengeance pointing out something here. Up and suplex. Wait a minute. Wrapping around here. Can he do another one? Another suplex. He's going to try for another one here. I think we are going to have ourselves our first tray. Unbelievable. He did it. He landed it. Chase of Guerrero. Three amigos. Almost three count there. Vengeance now. The river dirt's getting a little rowdy here tonight. Yes, it is, and that's why it is season's beatings three. End of the year, you gotta let it all out. Up off the top, and oh, drop kick to the midsection. Jimmy yes. Nuts desperately, out, you know, trying to get out of uh, pretty much the barrage of pain Vengeance has been putting him through. And I'll tell you what, what a smart maneuver by Jimmy Nuts. A risky but high impact for a maneuver from, from Jimmy Nuts. I mean, it was, it was like, I mean, the drop kick, did you see the agility on that? I mean, he hit Vengeance right in the ribs, right before he landed. Up and over, wait a minute. Oh, and a right by Jimmy Nuts. Blocks it, another punch by Jimmy Come on, Nuts. Ref, Vengeance really dropped on that one. Oh, right across the chest. What, what the heck? Going nuts! Jimmy Nuts is going nuts, but did you see, like, shades of Bruce Lee there? Yes. Body slam. Jitsu stuff. Jimmy Nuts is about to have Joey Avengers enter the dragon. Up and over. Drop a couple Wait nuts. a minute. And it is the Nuts drop. And a beauty. Really? One, two, and no. I got to think of something else for that elbow drop. Shit, I think I? he needs to go for the Nuts. I don't cracker. think the, the Nuts. That's nut. a mission maneuver. And I'm the one that gets yelled at for the nut jokes. Well, he just doesn't like you. I'm actually being serious, but I better think of something than the nuts drop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up and over. Oh! A little bit of a low down there. One, two, and no! Ten minutes going by this far. We're reaching the apex here. These two, I'll tell you what, give them credit. Both. Vengeance and Jimmy Nuts. I are putting a hell of a match on here tonight for this crowd in West Newton Arena. Nuts to the second rope. He wants to feel those fans. He wants those fans to go nuts. Vengeance in trouble. Oh, wait a minute. Semi power bomb. One, two, no. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is, the nutcracker. Jimmy Nuts, hey. The nutcracker. Is he going to tap? He's choking him and he's tapping. He's tapping. He's tapping. Jimmy Nuts retains his cruiserweight opportunity. That is called the Nutcracker? Yeah, or did 
did you make that up? I made that up. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, I think he should keep it. Unbelievable. Jimmy Nuts victorious here in Seasons Meetings 3. Next month, he gets Joseph Brooks for that RWA Cruiserweight title. And that is going to be one hell of a barn burner. Look at that. Feel bad. Push his vengeance now. Jimmy Nuts going up leaps and bounds. It's almost as if gold is in his future indefinitely. He will get that shot at the third anniversary show. He wants that belt. This crowd going nuts here. Jimmy Nuts. And I'll tell you what. What a great matchup that was. Joey I'll, I'll give it to the nutty one. It was a good match. But Joey Vengeance is no Joseph Brooks. You, you do have a point there. Joseph Brooks a lot more vicious, a lot more violent, and a lot more crafty than Joey Vengeance. But I'll tell you what. Jimmy Nuts, though. Victorious here and loved by the fans here in West New Pennsylvania. Jay Ice is Shane Taylor's partner! Okay, so my guess was wrong, but I like his choice. Who was your first choice? Who did you think it was going to be? It's, no, no, I didn't worry about it now. All right. Jay Ice pulling double duty here and being the partner for Shane Taylor. And that lawyer, that counsel out here for Shane Taylor, so I guess pretty much keep him and... Uh-oh! Now this roof is about to be blown off! Moving! Here comes Chris Taylor! Another little uh, tip, Taylor has been in the ring with Jay Ice before. Yes. yes so I think Taylor's actually uh, knows what he, you know, pretty much they know the opposite of what's going to happen here. Look at Ice and Ta uh, Shane Taylor in the corner here. Discussing, actually strategizing. Perfect tag team wrestling, you could say. Well, Adam Montgomery got out of the ring. Wouldn't you? Which, Do you know what that man did to Ryan Mitchell's father? Which says to me that Ryan Mitchell isn't going to be here tonight. Shane Taylor said earlier tonight, great to boo. He knew for a fact that Ryan Mitchell wasn't going to be here tonight. Ring announcers out of the ring. Chris Taylor's here by himself. I don't see a Ryan Mitchell. I think that I have. I think Mitchell. Mitchell cannot back down from a fight. Ryan Mitchell's never back down from a fight. I have a gut feeling. I can only pray that Ryan Mitchell is here. Shane Taylor is a force of nature as it is, but he, we may be looking at the new number one contender. He made such a brilliant man, picking Jay Ice of all people. Anyone to get under my skin, I mean, Jay Ice is very dangerous, probably the second most dangerous man in our video. He's fine, Shane Taylor. What a tag team. Oh my. And then we got Jay Ice and Shane Taylor. That is a dominant force here in RWA. Oh, you Did he really just throw you his shirt? Yep. Wow. Are you sniffing it? Taylor is yelling. Is this going to be a handicap match? Oh, jeez. 
I don't think Taylor should get in there, especially with both Taylor and Ice. Chris Taylor has openly said it. Ryan Mitchell is not here. So this is now a two-on-one handicap match. Good going, Piff. It is Shane Taylor and Jay Ice. Piff, can we find versus can we Chris find Taylor? Taylor. Why not get that, that uh, the Scott Saren back out here? I'm sure he'd have an opportunity, another opportunity at Jay Ice. Anybody, this can't be a handicap match. I, I you love, get in there and be his partner. I, I love Chris Taylor. He doesn't stand a chance. You know how Chris Taylor, dog. You're his buddy. I'm his friend, but I don't know any. Uh, the first thing about wrestling, when it comes to per actually being in the ring, no. Why is Taylor way over there? Shane Taylor, I mean. All right, Chris Taylor. Because Shane Sweet. is in his corner. But Chris, Na Chris Taylor, his strategy, what he has to do is he has to pull out something surprising. Jay Ice has already been brought down by 10 minute match by a very talented man, Scott Saren. If he can surprise Ice with a pin fast enough so that the big Shane Taylor and his lack of speed that gets into the ring, that we might see an upset. But I will say this though, Jay Ice got brains. Did you see right there? He's caught himself on that rope. And I mean, this is going to be something else. They both know each other very well, both Ike and Taylor. Chris Taylor. This is going to be hard to call this. Oh, Shane Taylor, too. Take down. They're both from the Cleveland area. I'm sure. Beautiful drop kick before. by Taylor. Both Shane Taylor and Jay Ice relatively loners, but they have associated in the past, I'm sure. I mean, considering where they've been, who they've been. I couldn't have thought this. That well, he would pick Jay Ice. Taylor now the vicious suplex and on and oh, only a one count. I'll tell you what, Ice might be beating the better, but he has had a rest. I'll be honest, I thought that Shane was going outside of the company to get his tag team partner. Somebody that he has been familiar with in the past. Yeah. Um I, I, I am not going to give uh, actual names, oh, but man. Shane I'm sure, Taylor Tim, that you're tired. very familiar with the uh, Cleveland Mafia. Yes. That's I what I was it. thinking. I mean, not, not to mention, I mean, you see the shirt. You see that, he sh that he, the, the shirt that Shane Taylor had on earlier. I mean, Big League. Yep. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a group of rebels called Big League yes. around. Now, Taylor, not only has he been worn down from running around with Jay Ice there for a couple minutes, he has now had to deal with the notorious one, Shane Taylor. And wait a minute. Chris Taylor taking it to Shane Taylor. Come on, Chris. Chris using closed fists. Off the ribs, he has an oh. oh, my goodness. One shoulder block, and down Chris goes. Chris Taylor. That was a vicious shoulder block. I mean, that was like running into a brick wall. That was running into a brick wall that was running at you. Oh, man. I've, been oh. pushed, I've been pushed down by this man before. I've been manhandled by Shane Taylor. It is not fun. And he was taking that light on me. Oh, into the corner, and he just bounced off the turnbuckles there. And if you listen, Shane has taken the river dirt here in West Newton completely out of this match and behind of Chris. I, I refuse to say Taylor because we're going to get too confused. Yeah, of course, That's understandable. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Taylor, ask Taylor. Wait a minute, he's just choking the life out of Chris Taylor. Oh, that wasn't even a chop. That was a pound to the chest. That was a forearm to the beef. chest. That was a side of cow. Meatloaf. So you're calling Shane Taylor a cow? I would never call Shane a cow. You sure about that? I'm going to say that he hits like one, though. Oh, oh and that was just a vicious headbutt. Skulling. Piff, you might want to stop this. I do not want to. Can't. Ryan Mitchell asked for it, and now for some reason or another, he's not here. Where, uh, where could Ryan Mitchell be, especially in this? Oh, the, oh, and that it was a the, punt to the ribs. Look at that. Taylor can hardly breathe right now. Chris Taylor. Shane with the pin. Almost a three count already. I mean, the breath was just taken out of Chris Taylor there. Shane's up. Wait a minute. Shane's asking. Shane's asking if uh, Ice wants a tag here. 
Wait a minute here. What are they doing? Oh, shot to the ribs again. That are going to work on the ribs of Chris Taylor. I mean, Shane had to have at least sprained or broken. Strained something. Spinal tap by Jay Ice. And he's one, not going to help the ribs out. No, and he's one of the best when it comes to the spinal tap. I will say that. Ice can deliver. Wait a minute. Taylor up now. Uh-oh. Oh, and a backbreaker. This crowd being deflated. Yeah, you can hear the life in this crowd is gone. They were expecting to see Mitchell and Taylor. I think this crowd is really let down by Ryan Mitchell. I mean, then again, Ryan Mitchell could still be caring for his injured father. I mean, his father was brutally hurt by Straight Taylor. Oh, or he could Mitchell. just be at the bar. I mean, oh, stop it. Him and Chris are best friends. We know how Chris likes to hang out at the bar. Oh, would you stop already? Oh. I mean, come on, believe me, after last month's attack on his father, I mean, Mitchell would be here. Oh, oh shots to the ribs. Oh, my I'm trying goodness. trying to text him as much as I can. He's Man. not answering. Amount of pain. Yeah. I will Ryan. give it to Chris. He's taking a lot of punishment from Shane right now. Shane Taylor now has Chris Taylor up. Oh my goodness. Oh, that weight on his ribs, oh. and, that is, and that has to be the end. That has to be the end. Oh my goodness. Two and no. Chris Taylor is not giving up here, and Shane does not know what to do. Chris is going to be coughing up blood soon. He's going to be coughing up a lung. I, I look at Jay Ice, he can't even believe it. slow moving here with those hurt ribs. But Taylor, Chris Taylor to the top rope. Shane doesn't know where he's at right now. Can Chris do it? Fly by him. Oh no. Oh boy. He got caught. Shane, what power. Up and down. Oh my goodness. And Shane looks pissed. One, two, and no. Chris Taylor what? has just got out of that. It. Look at uh, Jay Ice is even asking for a tag. He's like, let me do it. Do you just see the expression on Shane Taylor's face? He can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't think anybody in this crowd can believe it. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, you know what that means. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Did Ice just tag himself in? the glory. I think that was a little bit of miscommunication what? between tag team partners. Ice letting his arrogance get him for his brand. I mean, pretty much Shane Taylor had this one. Oh, oh bottom. Oh. Did you see the back of the ribs hit that bottom turnbuckle? Oh, my God. Jay Ice. Uh, hmm. Wait a minute. Line him up for something here. Oh, foot to the jaw. Chris Taylor stayed alive here. Oh wait, another foot to the face. He's getting, his pride is getting to him. Chris Taylor up and over and swinging DDT. And a beauty. Can't Chris Taylor come back from Chris this? Chris Taylor. I can't believe it. I admit, Chris I has, has nobody to go to though. I That's, I, I, yeah, hold on. Chris has nobody to go to at this point. Jay Ice can tag out to Shane. But Chris I, Taylor has created an open I'm not opening. too sure Jay Ice will. I did not foresee this, but Jay Ice has a pride about him. I've seen it the past couple of months. He typed himself in. He wants the glory. He, wait a second. Wait a minute. Jeff Leppard. Ryan Mitchell. Ryan Mitchell. He's tagged in. Ryan Mitchell's here, folks. Close line. Drop kick. And the beauty. Mitchell has a hold of Jay Ice. Sends Ice to the ropes. Power slam! Look at the hatred! Let's see what you got, Shane Taylor. What? 
Oh. Are you kidding me? Is Shane Taylor really walking into my face like that earlier? Are you kidding me? Don't wait. Mitchell taking out his aggression on Jay Ice. Mitchell calling for it. He's going to the top. Go for it. Reach up in the heaven. Here it is. What is and an elbow drop in one of the best in the business. Oh boy. Jay Ice has agreed <laughs> to walk into World War III Turn here, around, and he's about to pay for it. Steel curtain! And a beauty. Cover. One, two, and three, it's over. Mitchell wins it. Church, I can't believe it. I, I'm, a, I'm a loss for words right now. Shane Taylor walking out on his partner, Jay Ice. Shane Taylor said that he will get Ryan Mitchell on his own terms. I guess tonight was not his own terms. Yeah, you do got a point there, Church, because yeah, this match was sanctioned by Tim. But do you realize what this means, though? Next month, that man right there, Ryan Mitchell, gets redemption. He gets a hold of Shane Taylor one-on-one. -on -one. We get to see these guys in a legit contest one-on-one -on -one against each other next month. I cannot believe it. This place is going to be nuts next month. It's going nuts right now. Wait a minute. He was right. That's crap. Welcome back from intermission. Yeah, yes, sir. And make some money for these morons. Did you get my money? Where is it? Who took the pictures? Who took the pictures? Where's my money? Bring it here. Are you kidding me? He's Chris Brown. I will get that money. Look. The next minute he's I just uh, uh, a man. I said you after that stunt you pulled last month. You're lucky I'm allowing you to even be out here. I've been wasting my time with you, thinking you're going to earn your keep and do something to help me, but it's never going to happen. You didn't sell enough pictures because nobody wants their picture taken with you. You're worthless.
Disrespectful thing. You want to talk about respect? You're the one who doesn't have enough respect. But you see, if it wasn't for guys like me, guys like you wouldn't even be here. So I tell you what, you're the one who needs to show respect. Did he leave his what hood in the back? What you were brought here to do, show guys like me respect. Why don't you get down? and kiss my boot. First of all, whoa. Let me get this right. You want me to go down like this? Folks, Ryan Edmonds has not only proven to be a woman beater, he's also a racist. belt. It's about time. All right, boss. Way to go. How is it? Even Dr. Phil... What the hell? Dr. Feel Bad even yelling at him for the way he treats people. about damn time. Again, props go to Pitt for that well-deserved decision. Don't look at her. Just don't look at her. Don't look at her. I ain't, uh, uh I will not look at her. Well, I mean, 
It's been a busy night. You a very busy night. A lot of decisions on the fly. And right now, Lamont actually wins it. Wow, he and just slapped a him. Slap in the face. Lamont Williams slapped in the face by Ryan Edmonds. Hasn't he taken enough slaps in the face already today from Ryan Edmonds? I mean, Ryan Edmonds with those racist statements. Did Ryan Edmonds just say that Lamont Williams wasn't cool? He said more than him not being cool. He just, wow. I'm not even going to repeat what he said because it was that sickening. Unbelievable. I get, look at the speed wow. and agility and just the way Lamont, wow, up and over he goes. Steps on his back, steps on him again. Wait a minute, what the heck? I think he just kissed his boot. Edmonds, uh, I get, like I said before, he probably left his robe and uh, his robe and cloak in the back. I can't believe that. And these two locking up now. Oh, Edmonds now coming back with a vengeance here in the corner. Williams in trouble. Williams getting sent to the opposite corner. Here comes Edmonds. Oh, he misses. What agility by Lamont Williams. Wow, like a flying, sort of like a cradle uh, clothesline there. Wait a minute now. Edmonds slow to go. Williams is going after him out of ring, and we are outside here. Take him down. Lamont Williams taking it to Ryan Edmonds. It's about time someone slapped him around. Wow. Some and that would be our first bite of full chops tonight. Full chops, okay. Are you kidding me? Using her as a shield. Not the first time. And did you see Lamont Williams gently move Angel out of the way? Gently. He's a respectable wrestler. He's a respectable man, respectable human being. He knows what's right. He does know what's right, but I'll tell you what, Piv. I can't believe the speech, the amazing speech that Lamont Williams has delivered here. So much full, of pa so full of passion, both for the sanctity of human existence, I mean, I'd say. I mean, that's, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But, I mean, also as a professional, not just a professional wrestler, a professional in, in general. I mean, I mean, when you talk professional, I mean, Dr. Fieldad, yeah. I mean, we <laughs> I mean, he's not too much of a professional all the time. In this case, though, I mean, he is on the fence. I mean, you can't help but notice, I mean, he doesn't approve of Edmund's behavior all the time. And I don't blame him at all. And what's crazy about it is the fact that Lamont Williams actually stepping up, which a lot of wrestlers I'm shocked haven't yet. I mean, LaRusso stepped up, and other people have stepped up to ride Edmonds, and oh, little Trying to hip into the shoulder. I was gonna say a butt bomb, but yeah. <laughs> you know. Wait wow. a minute, did he just he bomb. just yeah. Oh man, uh, not yet. Lamont Williams is still fighting here for this PA regional title. He has two things to fight for tonight. Not only the PA regional title, but the respect and dignity of Angel here. All which, women in the RWA family. I mean, that's where we all come from. He I mean I had no clue what he was going to say, and but he what said he said, it. wow, I mean, it puts things into perspective. I mean, everyone should always be respectful I mean, to everyone, especially female human beings out there. They are very responsible. They carry us inside them. They give birth to us. They raise us. I mean, and a kick out by Edmonds. And another one coming up here. One. Oh, no, a kick out again. Oh, did you see the power and ferocity behind that clothesline? Lamont Williams just got tossed on that one. You know, alley oop for action. I, as many of you know, am a firm person behind the Feel Bad Five and everything that they do and stand for. And I'm behind Dr. Feel Bad in his stance when it comes to Ryan Edmonds. What Ryan Edmonds does to Angel is not right. I can't I believe you're saying this. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Oh, and he misses, and he went head first in the turnbuckle with that miss. I can feel a butt coming on. I mean, set, but as long as Edmonds has gold, it's all gravy for the feel bad five, right? You can feel a butt coming on. Let's think about that statement for a minute, shall we? Anyway. All right, back to the action. Yeah, right? Anyway. 
No, there was no but statement. All right. All right. Edmund sent it off to the corner and oh, Williams caught him and they caught him good. Edmonds is in trouble now. I think he just separated his chest. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, nice right hand punch. Now, I will say that Ryan Edmonds is probably one of the better performers that we do have here in RWA. He just needs to be focused. And right now his focus is not always in the ring. It's more along the lines of what's going on outside the ring with Angel. Well, I'll tell you what, Edmonds is more focused now than ever with that body slam to Williams. He's in the second uh, turnbuckle now. Now he's arguing with his manager. He just, wait, Dr. Feelbad just straight up called him an asshole and what a miss. And he just drove his fist right into the ring. Lamont action, Williams is up. He's ready to go. Close line. Lamont Williams lined him up, he has back elbow. The action one, up and over, oh. Shot to the chest there. Williams. Up and over, and he's up, and he caught his up. Shot the mid section, up sunset. and over. No, not a sunset. Beautiful maneuver by Williams. A little somersault. Oh. It's the green to the back of the head, and a beauty. And almost the three count, and Williams is almost our new PA Regional title champion. Almost the only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, though, Doc. Luckily, we're not playing another one of those here tonight. Exactly, Vintage Church. Wait a minute, trying to send him out of his corner. Wait a minute, Edmonds in trouble. Wow. Beautiful chain wrestling. I actually thought, wait a minute, what kind of sub what kind of submission maneuver is yes. that, Pib? Yes. Stretching him. I have a soft spot for submission wrestling. That is Shut the up, Church. I mean, I, and I mean, this is a fantastic submission right here. I wouldn't, uh, anybody could tap from this. Oh my goodness, I mean, I'm surprised Edmonds is not tapped out yet. That is the three-toed Mexican Gradenza. What he said, Gunzutite. I uh, had to break it up. Uh, oh, speaking of those Mexican Gradenzas. Not Ooh. sure why. Chili dogs. Sorry. Maybe the referee caught a choke You stinky bastard. I can't believe it though. Williams just stretching the life out of Ryan Edmonds. Oh, he's calling for it. Wait a minute, he salutes, he salutes the, crowd the crowd off of it. And wait a minute, and there he goes. And Here it comes. Oh. And Saguri from the outside of the ring and a beauty. The power of Vito. But wait a minute, Williams to the top rope. Can he do it, folks? Can we see a new champion tonight? Yeah, and okay. outside the rings, Edmonds goes. Crafty maneuver, main fight still. Lamont Williams is putting up this kind of a fight. He I can't believe he's a man. He is sick. What? He wants his belt, he said. I think he's trying to get out of this. Um, no belt here. Oh, the bullhorn. Oh. Wait a oh, minute. Angel just pulled away from Ryan Edmonds. Drug her by her hair!
Jack Redder, and he's got the damn football. Would you call that about the football? Damn it to hell! What the? No, 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 damn it to hell, son of a bitch, goddamn son of a hell, no! Damn it! He should not have the football! Do you see a little bit of more than? Do you see a little more of an attitude inside her? Like a little bit more of an arrogance. I think Ash is rubbing off on it. Tag team champions, life. that's another indication. Oh, ho, ho, watch the shades, Johnny. Wait a minute, and he puts the shade on Johnny Mac. Jammin' Mac? Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac. Yes. Got it. All right, so one on one action. I won't screw that up. Again. Juice Jennings, Thank God. who was announced as a Build Out 5 member, we'll have to get some confirmation on that, folks. And he's going to be taking on one half the tag team champions, RWA Original Strider. That's right, I, and, and what you mean by RWA original is he's one of the first. One of the first here. Wait a minute, oh, Ryan Rain with oh, the chair. Oh, oh. Ryan Rain. Wait a minute, and Juice Jennings taking control. I think we found a replacement for John Burton and Juice Jennings. Well, he certainly has a similar size about him. I mean, that's Sean Burton. I and mean, he even shows a little bit more attitude than Big Homie, huh? Nobody shows enough attitude like Big Homie. Trust me on that one. But back to the action. Strider gets, wait a minute, sending Juice Jennings into the ropes. Beautiful takedown. Up and over to the arm drag in the beauty. Drop hit. And the Irishman's going nuts, folks. He's probably drunk. What is your obsession with him being drunk? He's Irish. I'm Irish. Am I drunk? Yes. Oh my God, really? Up and over, wait. Oh, I thought he was gonna get a swing DT on that one. Wait a minute. Juice Jennings and, oh, oh, what power. See, you're only part Irish. Very that ginger's full there. Irish. One, and just a one. You had to use ginger too, didn't you? Yes. Unbelievable. Drunken Mick. This mysterious woman that keeps hanging out with Dr. Feelbad here. If uh, you look, feel bad you look. You oh, but our goal drops that elbow and a vicious one. If you look close enough, you can see where her legs meet her hips. Unbelievable. Really? Legs as long as Interstate 79. She is wearing a pair of shorts that you need two haircuts to wear. But back to the action. Oh, back elbow to the face of Strider. And Juice Jennings in control of this matchup. And I'll tell you what, for this youngster, he is, wait, he's just lining up Strider. And, oh, kicked in the midsection by the Irishman. Irishman to the second rope. Up and over. We might have a three count here. No. Juice Jennings, Jennings, though. Oh, wow. and clothesline by Strider. These two are just going all out for this matchup. I am really concerned about the Ashton Amherst. I mean, Ryan Rain just walloped him to the chair and drug him to the back. They're scheduled to meet in the next contest after this match. Yeah, but is Ashton going to have anything left? I mean, he got hit with that chair. Pretty hard. And yeah. if you look, if you notice the way he got hit, he got hit on the elbow itself. Oh, and um, that arm is going to be hurt. Big kick. Big Sweet. kick by Juice James, but impressive too. Did you oh. see the hair on that Carmen's one? Carmen's carrying. Speaking of what's going to be hurt, they're going to do next. They're going to maybe have a Death Valley. Go! And wow. A vicious score buster. There is. Oh, wait a minute. Did that girl oh, just oh, slap oh. him in the head there? She's hey, keeping her hands to herself. A bit more you leave her alone. Has anyone feuded with the Feel Bad Five longer than Strider has? I, mean, I can think back. He had a problem with Feel Bad. I think it was 
the second ever RWA show. And here we are, the third anniversary next month, January 21st, and Schneider is still locking horns with the Feel Bad Five, no matter what belt is involved. And, and no matter what member's involved either. Oh yeah, he's probably gone through about five incarnations. You, um, <laughs> wait, wait. Jamming, okay. Jamming oh, Mac John is... Mac. Johnny Jam Mac needs to look at the is, match! Jamming Mac in it. <laughs> Jam and Johnny was was, was uh, uh, preoccupied. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. The uh, lady on the bottom was showing him her assets, and uh, Johnny Mac a little bit. Uh, he's supposed to be a married man. What the hell? She had like a kiss on her head. Um, Doc, did you read her shirt? No, I'm a married man. I don't look at other women. All right, I said for you to cross her off of your wish list because it's never going to happen. Uh, I really don't. Well, I mean, Strider caught him with a deep, uh, deep uh, DDT there almost. Almost a three count. Oh, man. A DDT? Yeah, you DDT. Caught him, a, caught him with a DDT? Yeah, you could say that, right? Wait a minute now. What's the Strider doing here? Looks like a, like a, like a semi-bear hug in a way. Squeezing his ribs of Juice Jennings here. Juice Jennings trying to str struggling to get out of this. Ryan Shank got to his feet, trying to unlock the hands. Switches oh, it around. Minute. Up and German oh! suplex and a beauty. Wow, Strider folding up like an accordion. German beat the Irish every time. One, two, and no. Almost a three count. And I'll tell you what, Jennings planted that German suplex. I am very impressed with this youngster. Too bad he's getting wasted away with the Feel Bad Five. What? All right, back to the match, though. Juice to the second rope here. Wait a minute. Taking a, wait, telling him to come here and up and over. Wait a minute, the Irishman missed. Wait, Irishman catches oh. him. And a shillelagh slam. Strider's in trouble, though. I mean, he, he had a lot taken out of him, though. That drunk Jenny and Irish bastard looking oh. for another flask so he can take a shot of liquid courage and finish the match. He's in Bailey's ice cream, huh? Unbelievable. As long as it's got alcohol, he'll drink it. Are you kidding me? He, that's what drunks do. Oh, my goodness. Up and over. Oh. Here comes Strider. Oh, back elbow. Triple, triple crown champion gaining well, some momentum. No, was there, but Juice Jennings put a stop to it real quick, though, Piff. Up and away. We can see a pump handle slam here. Oh. Oh, into a triple crown. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. You've been drinking with him, haven't you, Piff? Almost a three count there. I know a good bar named Kings and Smith them to go to. It's just, did they pay us for that plug? Probably not. They back better. To the, they back to the action. Juice Jennings is just impressive here. He's actually giving Strider a run for his money. I mean, usually when you're a rookie, you usually get ran through here. But Juice Jennings is actually, I mean, unbelievable power, talent, and agility this kid has. Well, don't discount, I mean, any newcomers who come to the RWA. The RWA has the absolute best in the area. I mean, not many rookies come our way. <laughs> uh -oh, up and over. Wait a minute, Strider again. What'd well, you call that? He called it the raw, it's the shillelagh slam. But we'll Good lord. Slam. <laughs> we'll just let him go. Oh. Good well, There's another lawsuit. That's another Good point. Job. Wait a minute. I need another point. Damn it, the hell? Oh, Why oh, does he oh, have the football? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Just Joey Vengeance. He got the foot of Schreiner. Vengeance. Seal the football. Run with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, he's too cute. And they're ringing the bell here. Disqualification. Vengeance still in that ball of Strider. Is Vengeance a member of the Feel Bad Five as well? And this might actually be the... Vengeance was uh, here earlier. He was unfortunately uh, on the losing end of his match. And Juice Jennings now disqualified. I can't believe Juice Jennings let it go like this. I mean, I thought Juice Jennings had an opportunity to beat Strider legitimately here, but no. There, are you happy? Someone else has the football. Yes, I am happy. Wait a minute, what the heck? 
Touchdown dance and a spike with the ball. Vengeance and Jennings actually making a name for themselves here. Did that really just picking the leftovers as usual? And wait a minute, she's driving the stiletto oh, into the on. stomach. Where is Ashton Amherst when you need him? Right into the four leg Hurting in the back. I can't believe it. And, and then it's Vixen getting involved. Are they really stealing Strider's ball? They need to. Oh no. There's a chair, wait a minute. I can't believe this is happening. Vengeance again, taking a couple shots to the kidneys here. Jennings now, lining them up and oh! Dr. Philbad ran off jamming Jay. Uh, no, the hell Johnny Mack! I can't get him right. I don't care, all the referees here suck. Where is Troy Davis? Hopefully in a ditch. This tag team of Joey Vengeance and Juice Jennings, uh, right. collectively known as the A-List, I guess. Well, the A-List is actually making a name for themselves. Making a statement directly to Strider and by wow. association, Ashley Amherst. They may be in line for a tag title shot due to some pulling of strings, of course, from Dr. Fieldback. I just can't believe the fact that, I mean, and the ball is gone now. The A-list strikes again, folks. Vengeance, Vengeance and Jennings here actually making a name for themselves. So are they officially in the field at five now after this or what? Well, I mean, that would make five then. Uh, with Brooks, Rain, and Edmonds. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just saw the completion of a field bad five. Losing they are Sean just, and Patrick Hayes a couple they are just ago. disrespecting that foot, football, that rugby ball of Striders. They just spit on it and kicked it. Really? Disrespectful to Strider and his ability. It's just nothing but disrespect here. Now you see. This, I, like I said, I don't believe in violence towards women, but women should really... Like, look at this. Think of that stiletto in the... I can't believe it. Vengeance and Jennings have just dismantled Strider here. I can't believe it. I've never seen Strider... I, the last time I saw Strider is beaten is when he lost the title to SJK. He who must not be named... I'm gonna mention him, I don't care. But he's in the past here, and I, like I said, I haven't seen Strider beaten before and battered. Strider's been beaten down plenty of times. But not like this, yeah. not like this. I can't believe it. He's gonna get, oh, he's asking for the microphone. Oh, let's call 
Somebody. The referee's trying to check his arm. He won't even let him. Amherst looks pissed. That's all I got to say about that one. I mean, he looks upset. He looks angry. But then again, who wouldn't be if someone hit you with a chair from behind? Yeah, and all those been... vicious words that Ryan Rain was saying earlier. <laughs> it's only been 15 or 20 minutes or so. I mean, the, the adrenaline, the rage that Ashton must have is still flowing through his hands. Headlocked by Amherst. Now, wait a minute. Caught in the lake scissors by Rain. These two going at it. All right, these two about to lock up again. Now, they know each other very well. They train together. I mean, hell, Amherst pretty much built Ryan Rain. And not only in RWA, but in, but in the Pittsburgh region. I mean, They've ran together, they've traveled together, I mean, to other states for wrestling. And I actually can't wait for this match myself. I'll tell you what, if Ryan Rain was smart, he'd go for that arm. You can see Ashton's favorite right now. Okay, these two are about to lock up here. Ryan Rain, a former RWA tag champ, would love to get that belt back, and uh-oh. Arm now drag on the bad arm. Yeah, what a way to start off the match. And oh, wait a minute. Lake Scissors by Amherst. These two know each other through and through. This is going to be a good one. He pulled the hair. That's what, what he's claiming. He did not pull the hair. I think I might have seen that. Of course. Anything to help out the feel bad fight. All right, going to lock up here again. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Yanking that arm. Oh! He's going to try to snap that arm off. He's going to return the favor of a sore arm to Ryan Rain right now. Johnny Mack starting to count. He's in the ropes. Yeah. Hammer's backing up here. 
Wait a minute. Oh! Oh my. Punch right. It's like a seesaw thing here going on. Down and up. <laughs> wow, Ryan Rain now. Feel bad trying to see what he could do. Up and over, here he goes, and oh! Nice hip toss, catches him. Beautiful executed body slam. Right, Wait, another. we're gonna have another one here. Two of them. Amherst took a lot out of his arm doing that though. Oh, clothesline, and Ryan Rain is out. Oh, he scraped his face on the apron on the way down. Feel bad, can't believe what he's seeing right now. I mean, Brian Rain practically took Amherst out, and Amherst is still toppling him in this matchup. Bringing it to him. Okay, Ashton, making his way out the ring. Wait a minute here. Rain card, wait, wait a minute. That, is that girl, that, that vixen? She's trying to. Oh, and off the ring, a double axe handle across the back of Ryan Rain. Amherst now lining up Ryan Rain. Wait a minute, taking it outside here and oh, face first off the apron. Ryan Rain does not know where he's at right now. Little dizzy. Here comes Amherst. Oh, across the back he goes. Ashen now. Oh, kick to the stomach and wait. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Ah, ah, ah. She got what she deserved. I'm sorry. I'm not one for violence of women, but hey. Oh my God! Suplex by Amherst. That took a lot out of his arm again. Like I said, he has to watch that arm. Suplex on the hardwood floors here at West Newton. That can't feel good no matter what happens. Did you see Amherst and uh, that Vixen get into it? That's crazy though. Yeah. And then across uh, the like there, across the venue. Wait a minute. Oh! He's at security. Hold up, Ryan Rain and. Now there was a chop, there's some plates. Uh, yeah, there was some plate of chops, I will admit. Looks like this match is gonna be going all around the arena. Looks like they were going in the bathroom Charlie at one Mack point. Charlie Mack has completely lost control of this matchup. Then again, Amherst and Rain, I mean, the hatred for each other, no wonder he has no control. Rain up and over, wait a minute, Rain. Oh! And smart maneuver by Ryan Rain. Working on the sore arm of Ashton Amherst. Single arm DDT on the bad arm of Amherst. Cannot. Good. Oh, now he's got the arm bar. Stretching that arm, and I tell you what, this. Way to interject, Biff. The uh, lady friend of Dr. Philbad is just cheering away. She really has a hatred for Ashton Amherst, especially after Amherst returned the uh, favor of the slap there to her. If you were a woman, would you appreciate being slapped by a man? Uh, uh, exactly. Look, at, look what she's got. She has the headband of Ashton Amherst, believe it or not. Amherst calling for the crowd. Amherst is calling for the crowd, but you know what? There's a lot of pain in that arm. I don't think it's going to... You know, hopefully this crowd can get behind him. But I'll tell you what, Amherst is in a lot of pain. Amherst now gets sent into ropes by Rain. Rain up. Wait a minute. What do we have a pinfall here? Two and almost a three count in Amherst. So close to winning this matchup. Again, working on the arm, the sore arm, the injured arm of Ashton Amherst here. Oh my goodness, that has to, that has to. It's twisted and contorted in a way that should not bend. Hey, Ryan Rain is playing smart wrestling here. If you know something's bothering your opponent, you capitalize on it. Uh, kind of reminds me of somebody named Ashton Amherst. Amherst has taught Ryan Rain very well. And if you notice the evolution of Ryan Rain, in the beginning, Ryan Rain was carrying bags and doing this and doing that. Now he's one of the main members of the Feel Bad Five. Just goes to show, hard work, dedication will get you places in luck. And lots of butt kissing. Okay, back to the match. I mean, out of the five people I mean, in the Feel Bad Five currently, I mean, Ryan Wayne actually does rank pretty high. I mean, you got the two, uh, the two new people on the roster, I mean, Juice Jennings and Joey Benjamin for the A-list. I mean, you have Ryan Edmonds, I mean, who's not too bad with his technical ability. I mean, but still is pretty underhanded. I mean, even no, though Ryan's, Ryan's pretty unfocused. 
Why is the referee harassing Ryan Rain? The referee, I don't understand it, but I'll tell you what, this vixen over here choking the life out of Ashton Amherst with that headband. She isn't. And also Joe Brooks, I mean, well. You missed he, it. He doesn't even really get out of matches. Ryan Rain brings it to you. Ryan Rain has an ability, he's cocky and he knows it. I mean, I, if I were to rank the Feel Bad Five members myself from top to bottom, he'd be number two, I'd say, behind Brooks. Yeah, definitely behind Brooks. But I will say, oh, shot to the midsection. Ash Amherst trying to stay alive in this contest. I mean, that arm is sore, Piv. I don't know. Can Amherst, uh, can Am Amherst overcome this is what I'm trying to get at. Summon the strength, ignore the pain, no matter how great it is. Oh, there he goes, targeting that elbow. But the Good psychology from this youngster. And I will say this, every time Ash starts to gain momentum, every time he gains momentum, next thing you know, Rain again goes for that oh, elbow. Wait a minute. Oh! Kick to the face. In the middle of the back. Ouch. A very special counter that Ashton Amherst employs. But again, like I was saying before, like with the momentum, that uh, uh, when Ashton gains momentum, Ryan Rain takes that away with just a shot to that arm. Finally, Ryan Rain's away from that arm, and Ashton Amherst is starting to come to his senses again. I mean, getting beaten in this matchup right now. And this would not be good, if, especially for the RWA Tag Champs, if they both were beaten to a pulp tonight. We saw earlier Strider being a victim at the hands of Vengeance and Jennings. Hopefully, Amherst can overcome this. Oh, Rain misses a clothesline. And back elbow! A flying back elbow by Ashton Amherst! And this crowd is going nuts. I think he pulled the hair. Oh my God! Really, Church? Oh. oh, knee to the face, and a beauty. I think Ryan Reigns out. He's out on his feet right now. Can Amherst capitalize this? Back body drop, and he's over. Ryan Reigns doesn't know where he's at right now. Wait a minute! Oh, foot to the face by Ryan Reigns. Ryan Reigns. To the top, top rope, up and over. Attempt. Oh, caught him. There he goes for the pin. One, two, three. Almost a three count. What a maneuver by Ryan Rain. What agility. Ryan Rain has every right to be angry on that one. He thought he had it. Jumping Jack Flash, the referee can't count to three. Johnny Mack, whatever. Ryan Rain trying to educate him. Face of the referee and see if Captain Kangaroo focus. can learn. Needs to keep his focus on Amherst. Well, Amherst, well, Amherst is down, but Amherst's heart is very thing. crafty. Wait a minute, Ryan Rain. Oh, kick to the midsection. Amherst catching him here. Oh, with that bad arm. Okay. Oh, oh. <coughs> Trace really over the first rope. Hey, very smart. Oh, kick to the head. I mean, Pim, that's the best I think you could do with that hurt arm. But I mean, yeah. what a way to utilize the ropes. No, and Rain. Put them in the bottom ropes. Hey, smart maneuver by Ryan Rain getting a hold of those ropes and stopping that count. Smart for numerous reasons. One, he doesn't have to exert a lot of energy just to grab the bottom rope as opposed to kicking out like normal. And two, it breaks up the three count. Hey, he's going for it. Calling for his finishing moves. Can he get it? Wait a minute, Rain. Rain oh, putting a stop to it. Down like this potato sacking Amherst. Oh! Oh, what? The referee just got knocked out. And... Chicken of China to Chinese chickens down. Wait a minute, up and over and... Oh, he couldn't hold him with his arm like that. Wait a minute, oh, here oh, come no, them no. two pains in the ass again. Once again, Joey Vengeance and just Jennings. Oh, you can send their name right. I'm so proud of you. The foot soldiers of the Field Bad Five. I can't believe it. Jennings and Vengeance again. Wait, wait. Oh, God. Doc, no. you know this music? Yeah, I do. Wait a minute, Burns coming in the ring now. Wait a minute. 
What's he doing? Sean Burton. And we have a feel bad five. Sean Burton's Burton. back. Burton's back? But what's he doing here? Is he with. Who's he with here? Oh, come on. He's always been associated with a, with a group. Who's in Capital City? Drunken Mick. Strider's back. Wait a minute. He was in Capital City in the first RWA year. I mean, he's been with the Feel Bad Five. Wait a minute. What's Burton go. doing now? Burton. Oh, uh, this is all Feel Bad's doing. Oh, my goodness. Brain Buster by Strider. And then Burton still looks a little confused. A little unease. Wait a minute, what's Bert Burton was fired, that's right. He was fired by Phil Bad Five. Feel bad. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. Wait a minute, Ryan Rain. Oh! Catches him. Like a shotgun. Two. Three. I that's three. I've got no three. I can't believe it. Ryan Rain has defeated Ash. Ryan Rain! Ryan Rain has defeated one half of the current RWA Tag Team Champions and a former RWA Wait a minute! Heavyweight Champion. Burton's beating up the Feel Bad Five! What's going on here? Ryan Rain has completed his evolution, but it looks like the Feel Bad Five's past is back in its face. You gotta just believe when JB's in the house. I can't believe this. I'm like, wait a minute. Ash and Anderson are arguing in the ring. Burton's holding back, of course, the cronies of the Feel Bad Five. There's dissension in the ranks. RWA Tag Team Champions. Ashton Amherst claiming Strider for his loss to Ryan Rain. But Ryan Rain is just victorious here. I'm still uh, confused. Burton is. I know he was friends with Amherst, but I thought he was. Now again, Burton. Uh oh, Burton's outside the ring now. Ooh, Burton's thrown outside the ring, and here comes Feel Bad kicking his former protege. Feel Bad Five has been resurrected, folks. It is once again strong again. I cannot believe it. Wait a minute now. Strider being fisherman suplex in a vicious one. Just Jennings just dropped him right on his head. Joey Vengeance kicking Ashton Amherst literally out of the ring. John Merton making his return to RWA, but it's, well, I have, the joy is short-lived. I know calm, man. I'm not even gonna comment on that. I'm gonna keep my thoughts, Sean Burton, to myself. But anyways, now that, now that Rain has defeated Amherst, he gets to choose how a title match will be at Uprising Four. Exactly, and I'm wondering how to. What, oh, oh my goodness! Billy Goat's curse. Oh my God! I haven't seen one of these in years. Oh, that has to. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. Oh, the A list. He just punted the head of Strider. I can't believe it. He kicked him <laughs> speechless. He kicked him right in the temple of the head. A 
Amherst and Burton are both down on the ground here. Really feel bad. Feel bad with a sort of a baseball slide. Wait a minute. Oh, dear God, watch. Amherst coming back in the ring now, like with the chair. I can't believe it. I can't believe Burton actually Turn, turn, turning. Turning. Yeah, right? But yeah, for how long? Well, I mean, that's just I don't trust him five. as far as I can throw him. That's true, but feel bad five, five I mean, how feel bad What was that five? about? First thing, you're worthless. Ashton Amherst. I don't think that's the right to do with Burton either. You might be right on your assessment, Buck. Did he really just say he's the, he said he's sick of being the best guy on the team? Well, oh my. Dissensions about. Looks like there's trouble in paradise. Something. Strider's beat. Strider's hurt. We need to get help out here for him now. He got fun in it. He could have a concussion. Well, you gotta help him. I'm not going near John Burton, sorry. You know why. Burton though, showing. I hated jeans. I hated pants, so they always wore shorts. Look at 
do it? Who's gonna, who's gonna stop him from being here? He's taking his good old time getting in the ring now, but then again, would you want to climb in the ring with someone whose who's father you've injured, best friend you've injured, family insulted, and is practically mentally and physically tortured for the last two or three months? If I was Shane Taylor, I would really watch out right now. some words with the audience here. Our RWA fans do not like him too much. That's the river dirt for you. How many times have I told you they're river dirt? Taylor about to sit on the... Everything you've done, you have never, ever been in the ring with somebody 
provide us something to sleep every night? Your dad's broken, busted ribs, his hospital bills. This whole six months of agony that I put you through is all your fault. Good, folks. So bad. On the 21st, one on one, no excuses, no trash. When I put you, we're going to have no excuses. One on one, Shane Taylor is better than Ryan Mitchell. I tell you what, big man. Talk all you want, just sign the contract and I'll see you on the 21st. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's about to be official here. Shane Taylor and Ryan Mitchell next month, January 21st. We're about to see what... Wait a minute, did that lawyer just... Shane Taylor signed the contract. There's papers in there. That lawyer just put law and order all over Ryan Mitchell. Wait a minute here. What's Taylor doing? Oh my God, no. Are you kidding me? Throw the table! He just chokes Liam Mitchell through the table. I can't believe it. Ryan Mitchell's Wait out. a minute. Now he signs the contract. Again, I will say it. I've been saying it for the last two, three months. Nobody has manhandled Ryan Mitchell ever like this. Nobody. Ryan Taylor is ready for Ryan Mitchell January 21st. Is Ryan Mitchell really ready for Shane Taylor? But then again, is Shane Taylor really ready for Ryan Mitchell? What I just said, yes. I don't know. Ryan Mitchell, though, I've seen Mitchell go through tables, before, but I've never seen Mitchell. Mitchell's hurt. I mean, look, he can't even move his back. I can't believe it, folks. This match is official, though. We are finally going to see Ryan Mitchell and Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor did have a point though and I will say this Ryan Mitchell you know, he said it was Ryan Mitchell's fault Ryan Mitchell did bring a little bit on, of this on himself by ignoring Shane Taylor not giving Shane Taylor that opportunity Sean, Shane Taylor ran out here and, and, and took what, he, what belonged to him and he wanted an opportunity he got it he made his name known I mean he's dismantled people he's dominated people before wait a minute Mitchell Mitchell's back is, I mean, he's walking away, but you have to think. What lies in the mind of Ryan Mitchell right now? Like, what's going through his head? Kato and Bodie Williams making our way to the ring here, and they got their hands full tonight. 
Manager Valentine, one of the top tag teams of the year. And uh, part of being heavyweight champion and, uh, and top competitor of that title together. Oh, Kato has a mic. I bet she was going to say Kato. <laughs> Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Have you looked in the mirror lately, Mr. Cato? Natural muscle, baby. I think I have more natural muscle than he does. Maybe me. Combat character. That's K K Kano. Kano. Whatever. Kano was the bodyguard of the Green Hornet. I do remember that. <laughs> so <laughs> there he's he, he was he's a bodyguard. Stop sign on his stomach. He does. Maybe that means party. to stop eating. Well, I I'd go a little uh, by looking at his rotund figure. figure I would say so. Well, wait a minute. Why are they both? Are they trying to wait? I think he's gonna let. K they're gonna let Kano pick. His poison here. Oh boy! Oh, here we go. Where they both came in. Yeah, they, well, I think he said something to kind of trigger them both off. I mean, one thing I've learned, and Church has learned, and being in the back, you don't piss off Valentine and McGrath. <laughs> yeah, no. Otherwise, they'll jump off the top rope and land on your freaking head. But uh, I will say this, Church, uh, you've been. And give you a concussion. Jesus. Uh, what? I anyways, can't hear you. Piv actually has been called to the back. What uh, the hell with him? Personal matters, I think, maybe stemming from Mitchell Taylor. We we, could, we couldn't tell, but we're going to get into this match now. Oh, Kano and Valentine not. are about to start off here. And wait a minute. And he did, there it is, Kano. I freaking knew it. And Valentine, he wants Valentine to get up here. Now watch this crowd roar! Folks, if you don't want hilarious comedy to ensue based off of know here. Oh, really? Oh, oh thank <laughs> you. Shane Valentine with a vicious right. Cato not knowing where he's at right now. And, oh! Keep him away from me. Well, they're right beside you here. Back and forth he goes. Where he stops, nobody knows. And Bodie well, Williams now attacking all Why are they over here? Dear God in heaven. That's the last These thing we need. These are going at it. Oh, and Bodie Williams not knowing where he's at right now. What a European uppercut. And a full vicious right by the future Calvin McGrath. I got the microphone in case we need to run. Kato got his hands full of Shane Valentine here. I thought last production meeting we talked about this. If they're going to come over here, they have to let us know. Oh, boot to the face and a vicious one by our heavyweight champion. And Bodie Williams is down. Well, Bodie Williams is down. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Valentine. Kato. Valentine got his hands full with Kato. Oh, and a vicious shot by Calvin McGrath. Valentine. And Kato's just. Go ahead, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Oh, well, wait a minute, Kato's up in the crowd. I guess Valentine's he's going to. beating the crowd out of Kato. McGrath's beating the crap out of Bodie. Is this really happening? <laughs> Kato's leaning against the fan here. Wait a minute. Kato's trying to hide in between the two people that look nothing like him. You serious, bro? <laughs> you got... We got mass hysteria, cats and dogs living with each other. It's unbelievable right now. Well, who's that There's badass? Crap. Oh, wait, it's Kato. Never mind. Kato not knowing where he's at right now. I mean, Shane Valentine now tossing him back in the ring. Bodie Williams still on the outside getting pumped. Wait a minute. Uh oh Bodie he's Williams is trying to fight back with Calvin. Good luck with that. Referee is trying to maintain order here, but Calvin McGrath, of course, ignoring him as usual. Oh, and a couple of vicious shots. Lefts, rights, kicks. Shane Valentine taking it to Kato. Kato now setting to the ropes. Wait a minute, Kato reversing it. And Bunny Williams grabbing the feet of Shane Valentine. And... Oh, and that back just draped across the apron there. Bunny Williams pushing Shane Valentine back in. Old Tiny Tim, those uh, strap on glasses sure as hell ain't helping him out. He lost except control of this match. The, except to find the buffet. Kato now, oh, back elbow. Or elbow to the back, excuse me. 
Kato now. Taking it to Shane Valentine now. Wait a minute. Bodie Williams has been tagged in the match. Oh. Kick to the ribs. Another one. Bodie Williams now. Pummeling and punishing Shane Valentine. Kevin McGrath now getting a little upset here with the double team action again. Do you see how slow Williams is moving now? I mean, Bodie Williams took a beating from Calvin McGrath earlier outside in the ring. We've taken beatings from Calvin McGrath outside the ring. How fast did we move? Got exactly. A, got a point there. Why well, did you did? Thanks. Sorry. They like me. Okay. You ran away. Yeah. Kato now just trying to drag the head and rip the head off of Shane Valentine. Wait a minute. Bodie Williams tagged back in here. Oh, shots to the ribs now. Wait a minute here and oh! That is one hell of a chest to chop. That's like trying to chop Mount Everest. Oh. Vicious kicks here. Oh, wait a minute now. Kato choking. Choking Valentine. The referee's not gonna see anything. Oh boy. Calvin McGrath just punched Jane Valentine. No. He's not just seeing things. No, he was swinging and then unfortunately. There's a poke to the eye. Yes. Oh, close line and a vicious one. One, two, and no. The leader in the Kato School of Heel Wrestling. Kato showing us all how to be a heel wrestler. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. Oh, wait a minute. Getting those ribs exposed and oh, a headbutt. Kato about knocked himself out on Shane Valentine's ribs there. I mean, that's well, a mess. Of his... muscle. Got a point there. The king of hearts, Shane Valentine. Oh. It's debatable how he got that muscle, but still, he discovered a muscle. Kato, going for the pin. One, two, and no. Kato now arguing with the ref. That should have been a three count. Kato, good with arguing with the refs. Oh. Calvin wants in there. Look at him go. Oh, he's stomping the ring, and it's shaking us over here. Calvin asking, pleading for that tag. Valentine's starting to fight back, looks like. Off the ropes he goes, and Kato with the knee to the midsection. Oh my goodness, Valentine's in trouble. Bodie putting his foot up. Valentine, oh, face first into the boots, and the tag has been made. Bodie Williams is in the ring. Bodie Williams is very impressive. Agility-wise, strength-wise. Physique wise, Bodie Williams, and I tell you what, what Kato and Bodie Williams. I just don't Bodie. Bodie Williams, I mean, what can you say about him? Well, watch him go. Boom. Shane, Shane Valentine in trouble, and Bodie Williams again. I don't know, what the hell is going on? Mass hysteria. Okay. Just like any other usual RWA event. All right, hey, as long as we know what's going on, that's all that matters. Valentine trying to tag his part. Oh, he's so close. Look, look at that. And Kato not letting that happen. And uh, impressive. Getting the big man up and body slamming him. <clears throat> like I said, Kato doesn't have much of a physique, but man, he needs some strength and slamming Shane Valentine. And how long is it before Kato says his name again? Timing it about maybe every two or three minutes. Wait a minute. Why is Kato's Kate, Kate this? Hop in. Ooh! I guess he's not okay. I, I didn't I didn't think he I thought he might have missed with the I haven't seen that since 93. <laughs> Can Valentine get over for the tag? Hopefully, yes. 
McGrath just asking for it, begging for it. Bodie wins, and McGrath has been tagged in! What a close line by our heavyweight champion, Kato up. Wait a minute, up, and oh, Atomic Drop, how's your Jonas Brothers? Up and over, and oh my goodness! Uh oh, wait a minute, they're gonna collide here, and oh, way to use your head on that one! Oh my goodness, future slam and future splash! Kato went to the Owl School, uh, Owl Snow School of No Selling. Jesus, that was easy for me to say. Up and over, power slam by Calvin McGrath, the future, and Bodie Williams is in trouble. Uh oh, oh dear God. here we go. Up and, oh, if he didn't go through the ring, I am so shocked on that one. Bodie Williams ought to be crippled by now. Kato's just laying outside here like a... What? Is that on your run sheet? What? Shane Valentine just attacked his own partner. What the hell is going on here? Oh my God. The referee even said it. It's his own, it's his best friend. Did Shane Valentine really just viciously attack? Oh my God. Wait a minute. Beautiful power bomb, but my God, that Shane Valentine, I can't believe, wait, wait a minute. I can't believe, Williams and Kato are gonna walk away winners. No winners of this match. The team of Bowie Williams and Kato! Wait a minute, Shane Valentine is not stopping here. He has turned on Calvin McGrath. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Well, the river dirt here in West Newton, I don't even know what to expect. To, to Wait a minute, is Bodie Williams helping Shane Valentine? Sure, why not? Shane Valentine? Shane Valentine is helping Kato up now. Wait a minute, what's Kato doing? Kato's like... Wait a minute, is, what, what, Kato's slowing to do this. What's he doing? Wait a minute! What the hell? Kato just had a change of heart here. Wait a minute, what's Bodie? Bodie's, Bodie Williams is yelling at Kato now. I think Kato realizes. Shot by Bodie Williams and oh, and Calvin, the future's caught him. I am so confused right now. This has been the most confusing night ever. The future is Shane Valentine turning on his best friend. McGrath cannot believe that Kato has actually came to the aid of his protege. What's this snare out here? I don't understand this. What's this?
month, we have Shane Taylor taking on Ryan Mitchell one on one, the contest we've been waiting for. Ryan Raymond, I think, and my partner is going to take it on Amherst and Strider for the tag belts. We know that so far. Well, it's two of the Field at Five members taking on Amherst and Strider for the tag title. It wasn't announced as to who oh, any of the two were. Sorry. But wait a minute, Kato has the mic now. Oh boy, this ought to be entertaining. Hey! You know what? I had fun beating you up, but at the end of the day, you're my best friend. Wow, such a tearjerker. And I'll tell you what, I can come out there and... Wait a minute, I... is he about to threaten the women and children again? Okay. I think so. I mean, these people here are really awesome in West Virginia. Calvin, Kato, uh, Calvin McGrath kind of, uh, kind of like you know, continue to correct. Kato, you have fun with this. Yes, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm signing off. I'll tell you one thing about this. Calvin McGrath got a day. His work cut out for him already with Shane Valentine. Now this. Do you people really think the only thing I can help him? Okay, I'm going to give one last shot. Uh, all I can tell you is just do your best. Since since I helped you, am I now a good guy? folks. Everybody be careful to go home. Thank you for coming out. We will continue to deliver like we do each and every month. Now have a great night. McGrath showing Cato how it was done. What a magical night here at RWA. All I gotta say is this. It has been one hell of an evening. I mean, give it up.